Well, hello there, viewers. This is Miss Omega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do. Something like three months after I ordered it, give or take a day or two. This is my package of blind boxes from Limited Run. Now, this is not a political channel. I know some people are for, some people are against. I'm not doing that sort of thing here, so all I'm going to say is the only thing that bothers me about Limited Run is the time it takes to get things when you order them. I still have an Axiom Verge Collector's Edition that's almost two years outstanding now that still hasn't shipped. So if you want to make hay of anything else, that's fine. My issue is the timely turnaround of, well, collector's boxes in particular, but most things in general. And they did make a blog post recently to address some of these concerns, but I don't think eliminating trading cards alone solves the problem. So I've got some PS4 ones. I've got some Nintendo Switch ones. I've got some soundtrack ones. Got a little bit of everything in here. And that should be all that's in here. Did a Switch blind box, so I've got to assume they use the same packaging. Maybe small updates from year to year, but... I just hope there's not a duplicate of something I already have in there. If there is, then I guess I will just have to sell it or trade it in some form or fashion. Okay, the shrink wrap is off. The moment of truth has arrived. What will we find inside? Haven. And I don't have Haven. And a trading card for Tiny Metal Ultimate as well. So, let me get Haven out of here. And then we will look up what Haven goes for on price charting. But I'm already happy because that's a game I did not have digitally or physically. It's LRG number 117. And this one goes for 39 loose, 45 complete, 51 new. Let's see. I don't see any loose sold listings. Complete 48, 55, 31, 43, 55. Seems to be about 45 average. That's pretty accurate. New. 40, 45, 50, 55, 51, 62, 57, 50. Yeah, it's not really a humongous difference between complete and new, but either way, a little more than what I paid. Let me just look up what Switch blind boxes we're going for, just so I can be absolutely sure. Switch blind box. $34.99, so... I guess either by the new or complete price, I came out ahead on that one. Right before I started recording this, I was playing a free Steam download game on the Steam Deck called I Made a Game with Zombies in it. And I made a community post, if you check the community tab on my YouTube channel, saying it's worth more than the cost of admission, which means it's not a brilliant game, but if it was actually something they charged for, like a buck or two bucks, I think you'd get enough fun out of it that it would be worth paying that much. So I highly recommend it if you have a Steam Deck and you like twin stick shooters. I Made a Game with Zombies in it is pretty irreverent in its tone and setting and has enough action to keep you entertained at least for small bursts of time. It wouldn't engross you like a good platformer or role-playing game, but it's a fun way to kill some time. Let's see what's inside this one. Toto Temple Deluxe. Yeah, unfortunately, I already have Toto Temple Deluxe, so that one was a bust. But at least it comes with a Blaster Master Zero trading card, so that's something. Let's see what Toto Temple Deluxe currently goes for. 17 loose, 18 complete, 23 new. 
and what were the uh, PS4 blind boxes going for? $34.99 as well, so came out well ahead on the first one and well behind on this one. Can't complain too much because out of one blind box I did get Fury for Switch, so even if I was behind on every single one that I opened, Fury alone would put me ahead, so I ain't got much to gripe about. Soundtrack blind box. What's gonna be in here? Battle Chef Brigade. Not a soundtrack I had. And a pretty cool looking trading card for To The Moon. So let's see if there's actually a price on this soundtrack. I don't believe there will be, but you never know. I'm pretty sure that the soundtracks were a cheaper option compared to some of the other things. I think they were like 15 bucks each compared to the others. I've got that song stuck in my head, so I'll have to listen to this to get I made a game with zombies in it. I'll listen to Battleship Brigade just to get that out of my head. Price plus shipping the lowest first. $19.99. So I think it's fair to say I came out ahead on that one. Of course, both eBay and price charting are kind of irrelevant. The value is what it's worth to you at the end of the day. And if it's not something you care about, then it's worth nothing. But I have this game and I've never had the soundtrack for it. So it's worth something to me. I feel like that one is a winner. All right, what do we got in here? Valhalla. I think I already have Valhalla. I'll have to double check. And a trading card for Panzer Dragoon Remake. So, yep. Cyberpunk bartending. So now I have two copies of this game, but what is it worth? There's a question we can answer compared to the $34.99 asking price. For Nintendo Switch, standard limited run edition. Oh my. Okay. Loose. 69 complete 100 new 130 okay 34.99 for something that's worth 130 in this condition i'm not going to complain about having a duplicate of that i uh i've got some trade bait now i could definitely trade that or something else or sell it in this condition for that price and come out ahead what soundtrack will this be wonder boy the dragon's trap a soundtrack I already have but that's all right and we got a trading card here all right so I got a truck trading card and a wonder boy soundtrack and what does the Wonder Boy soundtrack go for? Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap soundtrack. Well, there's one listing for it new for 32, another for 34, another for 40, another for 45. And that is price plus shipping lowest first. There's a loose copy for $8.92 plus $7 shipping. So, if these prices are accurate, not saying they are, because I don't know how many are selling at these prices, it seems like $35 is the lowest any seller is willing to go. So maybe that's a good deal. 
but it's a soundtrack I already have, so it really does nothing for me. All right, one last blind box, and I'm hopeful this won't be another duplicate. Even though the Valhalla duplicate is not invaluable and could be useful in the future, I'm really just hoping for new games here. Well, I guess I did get one PS5 blind box because this says PS5 on it. I thought I got two PS4 and two Switch and two soundtracks, but maybe I got one PS4 and one PS5. So this is Infliction Extended Cut along with a trading card for Grandia HD. Let's pull this one out, get a better look at it. It's a game I don't have, so I'm already pretty happy with that. This Infliction for PS5 goes for 36 loose, 44 complete, 52 new. So at least it would be fair to say it's worth more than the price of the blind box, but it isn't what I actually ordered. Now there's a question. Yeah, I guess I did. I ordered one PS5 blind box, one PS4 blind box, two Switch blind boxes, and two soundtrack blind boxes. So I got what I ordered. This is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Thanks for watching and have a good day. See you again soon.